Hey all, I thought I would give you a quick review of the Aero 28 by Hyperlite. I am in love with this little backpack. This I think is my favorite, favorite backpack of perhaps all time. I absolutely love it. I took it on my last trip on Fairy Meadows. You guys can check out my videos for that trip. It was a really hard hike. It was 10 kilometers and it had a lot of bushwhacking and trail finding and it was quite hard. And so I wanted to pack super light and I wanted something that had a vest harness because I wanted to be able to keep moving without stopping because I didn't want to slow everybody down. So I needed something small and light. So this is what I bought. And the reason I bought it wasn't even this trip. It was because I was so excited that Hyperlite came out with a vest style pack. I really cannot believe it. Companies are starting to listen and they're starting to do the vests. Even z -Packs has a new vest style pack. They started with the Super Nero and now they're putting Vestal straps on all of their Nero packs. So those are amazing too. And Z-Packs, if you want to send me one of those Super Neros, I would love to try one. <laughs> I'm kind of dreaming like that's ever going to happen, but that would be wonderful if I could try one of those packs because I have been preaching for so long that companies need to start making Vestal packs. There's only one thing that I maybe would change about this pack at all. And it's probably the only negative thing you're gonna hear come out of my mouth. And that is, it would have been nice if they put a little bit more foam in here, just to make these a little bit thicker. But that being said, I didn't have any pain in my shoulders in this pack at all whatsoever, none. But I only had 17 pounds in it. That was 15 pounds plus my camera gear. So I wasn't carrying very heavy. I was trying to go fast and light. You can see that I've got my camera clip on here and my camera clip would fit way up here because this is skinny enough, but I didn't want it way up high. So I put it down here and it worked out great. This is on the straps that go across the chest. So there are three chest straps, which is amazing for stability. A lot of you are gonna think because there's three chest straps, you can probably take off the waist strap, but I wouldn't suggest that. The waist strap is actually really good for stability on the bottom. Like when I was clambering over logs and stuff and I had to lean way forward without this on and I actually forgot to do it up a couple times, the pack will kind of go up on your body because of the weight instead of staying where it should be down on your hips. You can see this is just a skinny waist strap. It doesn't have any pockets on it or anything, which is fine because da -da -da -da, there is a bottom pocket on this pack. Thank you, Hyperlite. You're finally listening and putting the bottom pocket on at least the newer packs that are coming out, which is great. I really wish you would have put it on the waypoint. And for me on just the one day trip, there were so many pockets here. I didn't even use the bottom pocket because I kind of totally forgot about it because I don't have it on my waypoint and my waypoint is what I'm used to taking. So I have to get used to using that bottom pocket. So you can see it's got the three straps, which I already said. It's also got very giant water bottle pockets. And thank you Hyperlite for not putting the skinny little mesh water bottle pockets that other companies are putting on the front of their packs. I can actually put my large 750 ml Hydro Pack bottle in here, which is the one that I like to take with me. And it's got one on either side, so I can put my bear spray in here. It's also got other big giant pockets down here to put your snacks in or whatever. Plus on top of that, it's got little zippy pockets here. So you can open up these zips and put stuff in there that you don't wanna lose. And I've got my headlamp in here right now. It also gives you this wonderful little stretchy strap so you can attach your Garmin up here. The vest has a daisy chain so that you could move the chest straps up and down to whatever position you want. The daisy chains go from here all the way to the bottom. So that's super convenient. The way they are set up right now, right from the factory is exactly how I left them. And I never had to change them, remove them, no issues at all. They've also incorporated a really great way to hold your poles on the front here. One place up here to hold your pole with just a little bit of corded that you can make bigger or smaller to hold your pole solid. They've got it on both sides. So you can put one pole on either side and they've got this bit of bungee down here. And I believe that's where you're supposed to put your poles through on the bottom. I haven't actually used the pole system yet because I had my poles in my hand most of the time. And when I didn't need them, my husband just grabbed them from me for a couple of minutes as I clambered up something. So I didn't even try this pull system out yet, but it looks very handy and it looks like it's gonna work out great. They also give you a little reflective loop on the end of these pockets here. I ended up just hanging my Garmin off of the reflective loop with this little carabiner and threw it inside. And thank goodness I had it hooked on because it just popped right out of this pocket. An extra little bit of reflective something something that you can just hang stuff off if you want to have stuff hanging on the outside. For me that looks like about the perfect place for my Kula cloth. There is a tiny bit of foam in these vest straps. It's quite thin but it's enough for a 28 liter pack. 
because a 28 liter pack doesn't have enough capacity for you to be able to get really heavy with it. And it does go all the way down the whole front and the entire vest. Not like the black diamond where I was complaining because the foam only goes down to the top of the water bottle pocket. This actually goes down all the way, which is awesome. It does have the stretch pocket on the back. I do wish a little bit that the stretch pocket actually went up to the top here. That would have given me just a little bit more room. I can get my really lightweight rain pants in here and my rain jacket and my poop kit, but that's about it. It's not very big as you can see. But when it's a 28 liter pack, you're definitely going fast and light with this thing and you're probably not gonna have a whole lot of stuff to put in here. You can see that it's also got these side straps here. And the wonderful things about these straps are you can actually take them off and put them down here, which is how they come, which I didn't like because when I was putting stuff in here, I couldn't get it down underneath the strap. So I took them off and I moved the strap up and I put one of the straps up here. Instead, it gives you a little, if you can see that orange, little loop there to put the straps up high, which is great because you can put taller stuff in here like your umbrella or your chair or your poles or whatever you need. So that's wonderful. They all move. Or you can just take them off. You can take off this side of the strap and you can also take off this side of the strap. And it's pretty neat the way they did it. They just give you a loop and this thing just goes through the loop and goes over itself because the end of the strap itself is also a loop. I don't know if you can see that. Very simple and very effective. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this on another pack. I'm just gonna put something in here so that you guys can see what it looks like a little bit fuller. You can see it's a roll top and you can see on the sides here, they've got really great side pockets with the little bungee and the little release buckle so that you can make these bigger or Tighten them down if you want to. It's quite easy to do. So that's nice. Decent sized pockets on the side. You can see that I still got the strap down below on this one. I didn't move this one up here yet. This also does come with the straps to strap the top down to if you want to. And these do not come off, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice if they gave you the same kind of loop system here so that you could take the strap off. I don't necessarily like strapping the top down here. I think that's kind of a waste of weight, they, I could have done without that, but I guess you can always cut them off. This comes in black or white, but I don't believe the black is a heavier Dyneema composite. I think it's the same weight as the white one. So you're not sacrificing any more weight by going with the black. And it does have a little bit of foam in the back here, which is really nice. So stuff isn't poking you in the back from inside the backpack, so that's excellent. Very nice attention to detail. The inside is basically just a big hole, nothing much to it but you don't need anything more than that. The seams all seem to be doubled back on themselves. You can see that. It looks like there is some seam tape here, although it's hard to tell. There is one loop here for hanging something on the back. I would normally think that maybe that's for a water bladder or something of some sort, but I haven't been able to find a hole for a tube to come out for a water bladder. So unless I'm totally missing where the hole is for the water bladder, I don't think there is one. And I don't care about that because I would never put a water bladder inside my backpack that had my clothes and my sleeping system in it because if it ever popped, it would just soak everything inside your backpack. So super comfortable. I wore this for 10 kilometers going straight up to Fairy Meadows Hut. It was a very grueling hike and I could barely tell that I had a backpack on. It was absolutely wonderful. I loved everything about this. I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm definitely gonna be using it probably forever and ever. I like it that much. And I haven't really said that about a lot of backpacks. And if you've seen this channel, you know that to be true. This is the one exception. I absolutely love it. So like I said, I don't really have any negatives to pass on to you about this pack. I think it's just about perfect. I'm really looking forward to bigger packs from Hyperlite coming out with vest straps, like Z-Packs has done, and hopefully like other companies will do. If they make a bigger pack that has chest straps, I hope that they will put in a little bit thicker foam because if it's a bigger pack, you can put more in it and you're gonna need a little bit more support on your shoulders, but for this pack, it's fine. Thank you so much for sticking around for this review. If you've got this pack, let me know what your opinion is below in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.